Welcome back to another episode of Brent Allen Outdoors. My name is Brent Allen. So it is a Thursday today and we're about four days before the full moon and I wasn't planning on actually coming out today. However, the uh, weather report for the next few days is pretty dismal. We're talking 80% uh, chance of rain tomorrow with wind and then the following day really high gusts and everything and it's just crap I don't really want to be fishing in. So today and probably Sunday are going to be the only days I can get out before the moon. So today I'm playing a little bit of hooky and we're going to go try to drum up some specs because it's that time of year. I hope you guys ain't tired of it because I ain't. So anyway, getting the boat loaded up here and head on out. Let's roll. Looks like the uh, the chemical brothers are back out today. Boat ramp is loaded. Unbelievable for a freaking Thursday morning. But here we are. So mainly today, I think I'm just going to be trying a bunch of new spots because uh, you know you can't rely on the same same areas every time. I mean, you can, but uh, where's the fun in that? The more you experiment, the more you learn. So this dollar weed here, it's all the right depth. I mean, it, it looks really good. It's off the shore a little bit. It's been about 20 minutes of me doing this without, I think I had one tiny little nibble and that ain't nowhere near enough for me to stick around. So we're moving. Got swamped by a freaking handful of jet skis. That's always fun. So I'm gonna be focusing a lot on these smaller little side canals. Now that it's getting later in the season, they usually start moving up into this stuff a lot more. Epic that one going on up here. A little Pocahontas action. Hey, he's probably a ten inch fish. That's a respectable fish there. If I get him in the boat. Gracious. Cut half the lake with that one. Bale, probably 11 inch. Oh, yeah, look at that slammer, Magoo. My goodness, that is a nice, healthy fish there. That's what we're looking for. 
I'm fishing quite a bit slower than usual today. But if they're not biting like they usually are, you gotta switch it up. Someone had to be home down there. It's a good size fish too. Probably 11, 11 halfer. He's in there. That's cool. I never catch these fish. Uh, yeah. I'm sticking my finger in that mouth. Not a chance. All right. Look at that freaking fish. That is a pike. And uh, I don't know if you can see the teeth on these things, but buddy, let me tell you, you don't want to stick your hand in that mouth. But, yeah, that was a pretty cool catch. I rarely, rarely catch these fish. So for me, it's kind of a treat whenever I get one in. Um, not to mention on a freaking jig. That was on my 11-footer ACC. Yes, buddy wants to go in the water bad. So, anyway, cool catch. All right, buddy, have fun. Pretty cool. <sighs> Damn it. I saw him move for it too. There he is. That's a nice speck. If that ain't respectable, I don't know what is. Yes, sir. That's the mumbo jumbo for the day. Yes. Look at that freaking fish. Freaking beautiful. It just never gets old. And that is a gar. This be a little sweet spot right here. <laughs> he jumped out of the water. Oh man. Too cool. My unhook them. Yep. I think there might be a little school right here because getting back to back slams. Now the wind has completely changed direction, of course. Barely hooked. Another tenner. This is what I mean. I've been poking around for about two hours, picking strays up here and there. 
you get into a little spot like this and uh, you know there's a handful of them held up takes work but when you find them it's fun oh paper mouth another little tinsky these puppies would keep all day good eaters Ooh, missed them. here's one jig head that the uh, the little hook part that would go right there to help help hold the jig on it was super duper loose so just trying to move it and it just completely fell out so that's not great but um you know i'll uh, i'll keep using them and i mean the eyes are staying on which is one of the things i read that uh weren't great um but i from what i understand it looks like they did a new mold um a year or two ago and that might have helped the eyes stay on i mean they look like they're in there pretty good but that uh the little uh, plastic holder there that that seems i don't know a little wishy-washy but maybe it's just the the lemon out of the bunch i mean it is the first one that i've experienced do that but i'll retie another one on keep on going Scoot, coot. That's a eleven incher. It's a nice fish. freaking nice speck right there my goodness look at that freaking fish my god oh, wow that is a chonker what a freaking chonker man I mean that is definitely the nicest one of the day. Whew. Golly. Little male out of the woodwork. Freaking all pretty nice sized fish. I mean, that's probably 11 and a half for there. You got too many dinks today. You love to see it. It's hard to fish this stuff slow when you're getting pushed by the wind plus the current. And I don't have power poles, so just kind of make do with what you got. Yep. Yep, she's a handful too. Indeed. Another ten and a half, eleven or I don't know where he thought he was going, but <laughs> he done took off with it. Another ten and a half. Oh. 
Jeez Louise, these are slammers today. I mean. Yep, that's a 12er all day long right there. Yeah. Love it. Love it, love it. This is the crap I freaking live for right here. You can see people have already been pulling holes in a lot of this stuff. So, a technique is no secret. People have been doing that longer than I've been around. Figured I'd cruise back in this little cove here. See if there's anyone hanging out in this grass. Don't know until you know. Now we know. Another chonker. Yeah, buddy. 12 or all day. Tell you what, if I owned one of these freaking houses, I'd be throwing freaking minnows out on corks right off the dock. Get a cool if you're cooler full of beers. I'll just freaking sit back and relax. Look at that guy. Who? Goodness. He's probably just at 10. A little Pinsky. Big old gar. you can tell a significant difference when these bluegills slam it I mean specs take it pretty good but bluegills are just have that freaking hammer to them yeah. not quite your season yet pal but I'll be back for you I promise you that most of the bluegill fishing I do is with the Sometimes with a cork, sometimes without. But uh, cast in with a red wiggler. You can catch them on jigs, obviously. But we have the most success with uh, worms.
Oh, Limpkins, you've got to be the most annoying freaking trash bird on the planet. Towards the end of the day. Ah, oh, dang it. Slippery magoos. <laughs> My God, you gotta be kidding me. Picking up trash. We'll say one thing about this trialing sensation line is, I mean, you can definitely feel a freaking sniff. You may not hook them, but you can feel it. So I, I do notice a difference between this and the smooth casting XL that I was using. Nice fish. So. I uh, relined all my jigging rods to the to that six pound test uh, sensation, and it's strong as hell. I mean, you all saw me pull in that freaking pike, so it's probably the line I'm going to be sticking to from here on out. Oh yeah! Nice. Nice, nice fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slam bony. Rigatoni. Well, okay. I think that's gonna be a wrap for me today. I was a little worried at first because it was slow going at, at the beginning there, but it, uh, it picked up once I hit some different spots. And uh, catching that pike, that was really cool. That that made my day there. But uh, the specs in general, I mean, you guys can see they're they're freaking slabos. You know, for for this area, they're they're real nice size. So I was very happy with that. So anyhow, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give away one of these unhook'em tools, brand new. Uh, all you guys have to do is like the video and. Uh, leave a comment below of your most memorable fishing experience and what i'll do everyone that leaves a comment there i will go ahead and take down your usernames and then i'll do a drawing uh, just out of a hat at random uh, from everyone that leaves a comment there and uh, i'll shoot you a dm uh, whoever wins and i'll also do a, a video um, of the drawing so you guys can see it in action but i will send one lucky person, one of these unhook'em tools, free of cost to you. Ain't that exciting? So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the boat ramp because I'm losing daylight quick. I stayed out here a lot later than I anticipated, but I was just having so much dang fun. So anyway, I will catch up with you guys soon, and thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoy these videos, man, because, you know, I, I kind of feel bad because it's, you know, it's kind of the same thing over and over. But th this is what I do. Th this is what makes me happy. This is my jam. So I do have some different stuff coming up. Um, I'll be headed back out to the Gulf here pretty soon. I'm kind of waiting to get the new boat because uh, that's going to have a more Gulf Coast friendly motor on it. And... Uh, be doing a lot of trout and red fishing so i'm really really looking forward to doing that and sharing that with you guys as well so again please don't forget to like the video and leave a comment of your most memorable fishing experience and you will have a chance to win one of these on hook'em tools and in the meantime y'all take care of yourselves thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't and i will see you guys on the next one